excuse my messy appearance it's the usual but i did shower yesterday i will later don't worry it's weird anyway um my day was somewhat eventful but not really basically i woke up this morning great i forgot what i did today i woke up this morning i didn't really wake up i stayed up all night because i couldn't sleep Okay, anyway, so my fake sleep, um, I woke up from, and I started to clean my room, get my stuff ready, because I was back at home. I was getting my stuff packed together and all this other stuff, just to leave, obviously, that's what packing's for. And, um, so I did that, I cleaned my room somewhat, not this one, this room is a no-no. And, sorry, I'm so tired. Did that. Had some breakfast. My cousin bought me breakfast. Like, the real OG he is. Um, talked to my dad for a bit. That's usual, though. Um, and then I loaded up the car, got everything in there. I made coffee this morning. I was bringing the coffee with me. So I'm driving. And someone, of course, slams on their brakes, and that coffee goes all over me in my white shirt. And I totally forgot about it. So I look like an idiot going in, doing whatever I was doing today, like, I don't know. Nobody said, like, hey, you have something on your shirt, like your whole shirt. Why? You're supposed to help me. Anyway, so there's a car ride with me and uh, coffee all over myself. It was weird because like I couldn't smell coffee the whole time, but I was jamming. I was jamming hard for two hours. It was crazy. Was today Monday? Sunday? No. Okay. So Saturday, I uh, was. I went to a wedding with my boyfriend. It was a beautiful wedding. It was so cute. Oh my gosh! I didn't cry though, which was really weird because I always cry. It was kind of interesting. It was different than the weddings I go to usually. Anyway, so after that, I, I drank a little bit while I was there. But last year I had a big drinking problem, I guess. Not really big, but like, I would lash out a lot. I would lash out a lot and just like, I was mean. I would never like hit people or anything. It was just like, I was a mean person and I said hateful, hateful things that I regret saying. Um, Anyway, I used to say things that were just awful to say to other people, should never be said. And um, I mean, part of that is because the medications and stuff and alcohol don't really mix well. Um, but I also learned that liquor is probably not my favorite. Like, I'll stick to beer and the mild stuff, per se. I don't even know if you'd use per se in that sentence, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, I had a bit to drink, but I was fine. Like, I felt fine. I was talking. I was, you know, I was there. Like, I was there. And I got emotional, of course. And started getting really upset. I forgot why I'm, I got upset, to be honest. I was that upset. I think I dissociated, like, as soon as I got upset. Because I don't really remember all of it. Um, but I did end up punching my boyfriend's car, the dash or whatever, like three or four times, I think. And then after that, we we're supposed to go to the Really dopey? <laughs> what? Anyway. Where was I? Oh, so we were supposed to go to dinner and um, this is us about to go to dinner. I'm already crying, so my face is messed up and I don't wanna have to explain like, oh yeah, I was crying cause blah, 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 blah. And partially I didn't remember why I was crying because it was something that made me really mad. When I get mad, I cry really hard. And I also get, I can either be like really, really sad about it and just stay quiet or I get really, really, really mad. And in this case, I got really mad. And 
my dad ended up turning around to meet us at the house so that we could all ride together, I guess. I don't know why he did. But when I got out of my boyfriend's car, I threw everything. Like my purse, everything just went everywhere, all over the yard. And I went upstairs. And I don't really remember much after that until I woke up at 12 o'clock that night and my boyfriend had asked, do I need water or anything? I said, no. I was just really upset after that because I knew like I lashed out and stuff. And of course that's not what I want to do. I don't want to be that person. And, and like, that's one of the more frustrating parts of having borderline is that you have this vision in your head of who you want to be, like the perfect person to you. You're like, I never want to mess up. I never want to do these. You have this vision of who you want to be. And it's like a constant, you're running, you're running, you're running, and you keep falling right before you get to that point. So it's like a never ending cycle of not being the person you want to be. And all these other people get upset and you're just like, okay, I'm failing everybody around me. I'm not doing anything good. I'm pointless. I'm this, I'm that. Um, so that really got to me when I woke up that day, night, almost the next day, um, it got to me. I was like, wow, I lashed out. It was supposed to be a good day. It was someone's wedding day. Like all this other stuff just kept running through my head. Um, I apologized as well because I did say hateful things again. Um, I'm not proud of it, but I also believe that I had a right to be mad. Um, I was being told that it's just the alcohol, you're drunk, or whatever it was, something similar to that, just saying that it was the alcohol and I wasn't really upset kind of thing. It was invalidating my emotions. And it just set me off. I was like, I don't have a drinking problem. In my head, I was saying this. I don't have a drinking problem. I don't understand. I had very little to drink, actually. Um, but when I talk fast, when there's like little things that happen that make it seem like I may be a little over the edge, but that happens just everyday life. Like, I don't know. But I woke up and my dad sat and had a talk with me about if, since I'm on medication, I'm not allowed to drink at the house, which was quite frustrating because that's like, that's like the one place that I feel like I should feel safe to drink. You know, like I live with my roommate, but like, when you're home, you would expect that your parent would be like, this is your safe place, this is where, like, if you're gonna do something, do it here, like, I don't know, that's just how I'm thinking right now. Um, but it ended up that it was either I'm not drinking or I stopped taking medication and I've been telling my dad for months and months and probably forever that I'm not gonna stop taking medication because it's the one thing that does somewhat help and if I did stop taking my medication this world would burn in a heartbeat and nobody would ever want to be around me and so that was a predicament um I don't know if I want to share this part I ended up self-harming. Most people would say it was the alcohol, but when I hear that, it sets me off. Like, not everything someone does is because of alcohol or something like that. Like, there's more to it. It's not just that. Um, 
So it kind of makes you feel crazy when people just keep saying it's the alcohol when really you feel that way and you know you feel that way. Like for sure you feel that way. But um, so yeah, I self-harm harmed. And of course that's like an endless cycle of I broke my promise, I failed myself, I can't even do this, what else can I like, if I can't do that, if I can't not do that, then what am I good for, like, I'm, I can't even not hurt myself, what? But I've been through this cycle for probably seven, eight years now. And it's gotten a lot better. It's um, It used to be really bad. I used to self-harm behind my ears. I would self-harm in multiple different ways. I, I struggled a lot back in middle school. I've actually come a long way and that I can actually be proud of, but sometimes it feels like people don't see that um, or they don't appreciate it and for me like hearing someone say like I'm proud of you and actually meaning it feels really nice but I also have a hard time believing them so it's like an endless cycle of just should I trust someone or should I not should I trust myself should I not it's constantly questioning what is going on <laughs> kind of yeah I don't know if that made any sense, but I hope it did. Anyway, my friend is here now, so I'm gonna go get her, and we may or may not add to the video, but I'm unsure. So let's leave on a positive note. Yeah? I say yes. Dopey, where art thou? Dopey, where art thou? You wanna go potty? You wanna go potty? You wanna go potty? Yeah, you wanna go potty?